Okay, we're live. Okay, we're back. Live again. And we're back again. Back again. Here, hit report episode two. We've been slacking. Twice. We've been, we've been slacking. I know we've been slacking a bit, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little technical issue. Technical, technical issue the other day. And that set us back a bit. He was waiting for the guy to get back to us and he can film yes. again. But it's just been a bit long. So yeah, so a bit difficult. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're back on track. We're back on track. It's all good. Back on track. And we've got some very, some very special guests that will be joining us soon. We've already planned ahead. Okay, we're still working out how to make this channel work around everyday life. But we've got some good guests coming up. So don't worry, don't panic. Ruin wills will forever control things, even if we do give people an opportunity. You know what I mean? So come on. Straight into the boxing news now. Eddie Hearn, he started his fight camp um, series or his fight camp, you know, new his new venture since COVID started. We know boxing has changed permanently for, for the world. Well, for the time being anyway, it's, it's, it's really different. No crowd, no nothing. You've got everyone in the corner, got a big plastic thing over their face and stuff. And he decided with his backyard, the man's garden. garden. Let's just put this into perspective. Eddie Money the man earns. earns. <laughs> Eddie earns. <laughs> Listen, Eddie earns. He's holding shows in his back garden. And it started last week. I saw some good facts in there. A few people that I grew up with was on the show as well, which was good. Um, and Dillian White's prospect was on it as well. You know that guy? Uh, that, the the light skin brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I watched his press conference and I watched the fight. Yeah. He, he, done, he performed well. He looked yeah, good. He performed good. Done, done, yeah, done, done his thing. He done his Woodley. thing. That's it. Fabio. That's it, yeah. Fabio, yeah. Fabio, yeah. Fabio. Fabio. Yeah. Yeah. He looked good. He, and, he looked good. And um, Simon Belilli, he's not a trash fighter, you know. He was on like... No, GPT no, no. He's, he's a vet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a vet. He's been around. Proper. So, okay. I watched that. I said, you know what? That was a good performance. That was a very good performance. Very good. Very and good. Then, I know he had week two already. He already done week two, I think, a couple of days ago. That's where the uh, Natasha Jonas headline with Terry Harper. So, you know, he even managed to incorporate a female main event into his fight camp thing, which is good. And that was a draw. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was a scrap. I, yeah, I haven't seen the fight yet. Yeah, that, that, that was dope, a, man, to watch. Yeah, that was a draw. And I saw the pictures, everyone there bleeding and everything. But, um, yeah, I heard that was a, a proper scrap. So yeah, the the fight camp thing's taken off. Um, yeah, it's a good are, idea, yeah. man. Because you've seen so. the, the yeah, because the UFC have been active, and it yeah. gives uh, fighters an incentive to keep training, keep the the the, the morale up. So yeah, yeah, you've got to rate them things, man. But apparently, Eddie was saying though, like whoever he whoever's agreed to be on there, they have to take harder fights than they'd usually take otherwise. You don't want them on the okay. on the show. Because there's okay, only so a few people slots. Entertained. Yeah. yeah. There's okay. a few slots. So he was like, no picking fights. Either you're scrapping tough fights or wait. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? That's how boxing should be, though. Yeah, That's of course. That's like, takes it back to what it used to be. It used to be, yeah. When it was a real, real, real brutal, um, brutal sport. Instead of now, yeah. so it's a beautiful business, isn't it? That's the best way to put it. Yeah. No, that's actually yeah. the best way to put it. Because yeah. everyone's picking round, picking, picking, picking. With with that, he was like, Abby, yeah. scrap or no? Like, yeah. that's it. That's good. So, and then obviously, we know the final, I think the scheduled fights that he has, the final one is um, Pavetkin and, and Dillian White. Um, that, that's yeah, the Dylan, yeah. biggest fight. I think that's, that's in a couple of weeks, so. isn't it? I'm sure that's in about yeah, a couple of like weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks, maybe. Two weeks, two isn't it? Weeks. Not mm. far, not far at all. Um, in other news, other boxing news, Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell, um, yeah. highly anticipated fight. No promoter has decided to take control of the event, which means it goes to purse bids. For those that don't know, in boxing, purse bid means that um, the sanctioning body, which in this case is the WBC, have ordered the fight to happen. No promoter has taken control of the event. So any WBC registered promoter can buy the rights to this event and there will always be like a minimum bid. So minimum bid could be like $200,000. But 
whatever promoter puts their hand in their pocket to promote this event will take control of it. I'm surprised that it yeah. even got to that stage. To it's honest. true. And um, guys, remember, it's for the WBC interim lightweight title. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, so that's to, to yeah. have a chance at fighting Devin. Um, yeah, Devin. Devin Heaney. Mm. It's a juicy division, you know. Yeah, it's a sticky division. It's a good one. So it's a live division, man. But the thing is, and it's crazy. You could, you got the winner of that will have the interim. Mm -hmm. Then Devin has, I think, the just the like the original WBC. Yeah. Then Lomachenko has the franchise championship. Franchise, yeah, is, Bell. Yeah. So it's like yeah. there could be three WBC world champions at one time, which is yeah. what is ruining boxing, really. But sure. But you know, yes, but see, like, see, with that weight class, it's going to be healthy for at least the next five years. So that's why it's good. It's going to be competitive, sure. though. You know what I'm saying? And the thing, Roly, Roly is fighting for the WBA interim world title next week. Ooh, wow. Yeah. yeah, they're really far pushing them fast, isn't it, man? Roly's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. rolling right now. Because last week though. you mentioned him. And as yeah. we come off camera, I saw he's fighting for the world title. Because you said that. You was like, oh. They're pushing, um, they're pushing him. I was like, yeah. Then I come off camera and I see he's fighting for the world title li li literally next week. That's good, though. Big him up, man. Big him up, man. He's, he's been training hard with Larry as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I see him in the yeah. gym the other day. He's, he's, he's gassed. He's already made yeah. weight. Like, yeah, that's proper. He's excited. He's excited. So that, that lightweight division right now is juicy. 100% is a, is a juicy division. Who you said? Um, Garcia or Campbell? Um, it's a tough one. You know what it is? It's a good fight stylistically because you've got someone who's got extremely fast hands, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. But you know, if you use distance, if you can gauge distance, yeah, if you're not to, yeah. you can lock down the speed. That's true. But I don't know if Luke Campbell... I don't know, you know. I don't know. That's a good fight. That's a, a good, good fight. fight. It's a good fight. It's a good fight, man. It's a good fight. I want Garcia to win. I want Garcia to win. Yeah, why? Yeah, the reason I say that is because I feel like the storyline of the division is more interesting with him continuing to win. Of course, yeah. For, for, Very you true. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, Very true. Very true. Campbell, he's from the UK. Obviously, we've always got love for UK fighters. But when it comes to the the storyline of the division. Luke Campbell is yeah. going to really spice it up. That's true. Not, you know, whereas, you know, Ryan Garcia and Devin and Tia Fimo and Lomachenko, it sounds nice. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. It's true. It's true. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a better mix. But, yeah, man, that's why. I, what, what, who do you think? Who you got? Who you got? It's a tough fight, man. But you know what it is? For some reason, yeah, I can see Ryan doing damage for some reason. It sounds mad. <laughs> hey. It sounds mad. It sounds mad. I don't know. I don't know what it is about him because the speed, but he's 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 been he's been getting the KOs, man. He has first he rounds has. as well. Yeah, like first, first round. round. It won't be a first round against Campbell, but no, 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 definitely not. Yeah, Sour Campbell is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I don't know who's got more power to be honest, but I'd rather Campbell win. But obviously, yeah, you know, like, in 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 the, in the boxing realm, he's not the one they want to win, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? No. So, and then let's not let's not forget, obviously, Tank. As well. Yeah, Tank. Tank is a is a problem, a big problem. To he's the biggest, yeah, he's the biggest problem. Because he hits like he's a welterweight. That's like true. He hits, so people yeah, like him, dang man. Yeah, so Tank included. It's just nice it's to hear that that division right now is is. Creating some money, people are generating some peas. Yes, yeah, a lot of tra attraction. Right now, um, moving up to the, to, you know what? Let's do it in weight order. Let's not let's not jump straight to the big guys. Let's talk about Errol Spence and Pacquiao. So Errol's been tweeting. He's called out Pacquiao for a minute. To be fair, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not it's not nothing new. But then Pacquiao responded with a with a tweet. Uh, like it's like a gif of him looking into the camera, looking bare angry or something. Or at one of um, Errol Spencer's tweets, James, throw that on the screen as well. I know you'll be able to find it. Uh, but that's the first time Pacquiao's actually acknowledged 
Errol Spence in the way of, yeah, let's like, find he said, yeah. Normally, he's on the management, whatever it says management say. But this time, yeah. he actually responded. It's, you know, it's, it's big numbers, isn't it? Big P, man. Of course. Big numbers, man. Big, and big numbers. You know the man could do, they could do Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, of course. Of course, easy. 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 Because he done it with Mikey Garcia. Yeah. He can definitely yeah. do it. He'll feel that. Definitely. That'll feel so quick. That'll feel, that'll be a good, that's a nice fight, man. That's a nice fight. Who you got, who you got in that one? Ah, uh, Spence. 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 Yeah. You have to have spent for that one. Pacquiao is, is, is at the end of the road nearly, isn't it? Yeah, it's like... He's near the end like of the road, last, man. His last two performances, he's managed to drag out some good wins. Good wins. Um, Broner and Berman. Yeah. But Errol, I think, is a step too far. Yes, he is. He is. And you know, Pacquiao, I don't want him... I think, I think Spence can actually knock him out as well, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Certainly, 100%. That's that's why I think he should make it his last fight. Swung song. Yeah. I think big payday and then he can focus on just being a congressman like what he's been doing for years. He yeah. can just focus on mm. helping his country and you know of course yeah, he, he does a great job great job with that. Which is big up, man. He's got big up his thing. Then you got uh Okay, now we're gonna move move up like the big guys. Dillian. Might finally, yeah. William White might finally get his chance to fight for a world title. I know he's been waiting over a thousand days for this chance. A thousand gonna, yeah, days. A thousand days. Over. You know how crazy that is. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's so yeah. So he's gonna be fighting the winner of Fury and Wilder. And a set in stone. Crazy. Is that certain? I've seen, I've seen newspaper reports and I've stuff. I've seen it. I've seen it. It was on a. Uh, he posted Sports. it on his social media as well. He posted it on socials. I'm gonna see now. I'm gonna try and get this. Try and get it up now. Uh, just so I can read it in 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 detail. Right. Is that but is that even it. if he beats Povetkin? That's if he pe- beats Povetkin. Okay. He only, you know you know he, with Dillian, if he loses, that's it. Every everywhere like that's it. That's, no it. that's it. Chance. That's it. But it um, says here. The WBC has confirmed that the winner of Tyson Fury's next WBC title fight against Deontay Wilder must make a mandatory defense against Dillian White. Okay, so if, look at it like this year. He's fighting for Vetkin in two weeks. Yeah. And then Fury versus Wilder. I think they're saying it's going to be next year, right? That's what they're saying. They're saying yeah. now. So early, what, next year? 2021. So, so next year, February. Then what? So Dillian yeah. has to... So Dylan has to still survive until probably next year summer. Oh, they're saying hold on. They're saying Fury is no. They're saying Fury's expected to, to defend the title on December nineteenth, and that someone, yeah. the winner of that fight, has to fight Dillian early twenty twenty one. I saw no. I saw I saw something about they might push it back. They're talking about pushing it back until probably. January because they're not sure if they could fill out. They, obviously, they want stadiums in it. They want the stadium to be yeah. filled out, and I'm not sure how yeah, everything's yeah, going to yeah. go because of coronavirus. So they said maybe um, next year February for that. So imagine this next year February, then Dylan White has to wait until what no, September, August, no, September. So what is he going to be active during that time, or is he going to be inactive? Every time he steps in the ring, it's a risk. He risks risk. his his chance. He takes tough chances, man. Mm. So that's why uh, if he if he does it, obviously hopefully he wins. He wins his next fight and he gets his his his, his big day, man. His big challenge. Yeah. Hopefully, and it's a good hopefully. story, isn't it? It's a good story for him. He does. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's anyone in boxing today that deserves a world title shot more than him. That's true. I think he he honestly does deserve that opportunity more than anyone. But Povetkin, you can't overlook Povetkin. He's one of those no fighters way. that are always there. You know, they're always there to to ruin your plans. You know, he he gave AJ a good little. Uh, a good fight up until you know AJ changed game plans and stuff. But yeah, Povetkin, you know he's a dangerous guy. He does that little lunging hook as well. Yeah, that yeah. Can catch, yeah, that can catch anybody. When's, so. when's, when's AJ up next? Who left? I don't know. You know, I think I remember him saying he don't want to fight until there's crowds again. Okay. Um, but you know the elite of the sport can say stuff like that. You can't say know? that, of course. <laughs> of course. 
Your boss, boy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, do that. Yeah, I want the crowd. Don't do this silent thing. No, nah, come on, man. He yeah. went from when right. how many times? Millennium Stadium, Madison Square Garden, um, Saudi, and then they're gonna tell a man fight in his garden. He ain't doing yeah. that. Listen, when you're up Sorry, there, man. call the shots. Call the shots. It's hard to get there. It's hard to get there. It's true. It's hard to get there. Yeah, no. So when you get there, you gotta, yeah, people gotta give you some respect, man. You gotta you gotta pull some some of the strings that's going on. For sure. Um I don't know what's happening. Things been quiet as well. Uh Lawrence. I ain't, I know Lawrence is scheduled to fight for World Title, but I ain't really um mm. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't know, everyone's kind of waiting. Josh Bwatsi's been quite quiet, quiet as well, to be honest. Bwatsi's been quiet? Yeah, he's been quiet. I might have to, have to look, quick look right now, just to see if there's yeah. any news on him. He's been quiet, to be honest. He's been, he's been quiet. All right, this is the way you are. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. This is actually interesting. Eddie, oh, wait, Frank Warren and BT Sport had offered... Oh, you're going to like this. When you hear this, you're going to like this. You're going to like this. Brent Warren and BT Sports have offered out Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports for the biggest cross-company battle in British boxing history. The Queensbury boss, who's uh, Frank Warren, said that why don't we do White versus Dubois, Joyce versus Chisora, and Yard versus Buatsi? That's a bad boy lineup. Boy. <laughs> That's a bad boy lineup. Ooh. That has to be next year. There needs to be a crowd for that. There has to be a crowd for that. It has to be, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a good call. Cool. But then again, but look at it like this, yeah? If I was white, I wouldn't take that fight. For no what? Way. For no what? Way. <laughs> no yeah. way. Mm. Doesn't make you sense for white to, to fight the war. He said, Frank Warren said, listen, British boxing fans, this is a promise from Queensbury Promotions. These fights can happen and these fights can be made so don't take no for an answer. He's applying some pressure. Huh. Tyson Fury even tweeted out one graphic of uh, of, of what could happen. Yeah, because it has Dubois and White at the top, then Yard and Boatsy, Joyce yeah. and Chisora, and then uh, Williams, Liam Williams and Andrade, Demetrius Andrade. Hey. So, yeah, talking about what's quiet, I guess they raised his name to, to be part of one of those events, which would be mm. mad. Isn't that what do you call it? Do, do it cost some breed, um, breeders, isn't it? They're supposed to fight soon. Yeah. When's, when's that actually scheduled for? I, know I don't know. Fitness still in talks. They're, are they waiting on a new date? Uh, let me type that in quick. Do it cost versus breeders, news. Yeah, I don't know when they're waiting on a date. That 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 um inactivity is definitely gonna affect the quality of that fight. That's true. Uh, but I, I still think Breedis will win that. I still think Breedis will win that fight. Um, all right, cool. Now boxing. That little last bit that we just spoke about. Interesting. Interesting. That card there. If they do that match from versus. Uh, Frank Warren, Queensbury Promotions. Yeah. That one is one you have to be at live. I don't care. Yeah, I, know said to watch there, I know you said at home is the best seat. But yeah, the atmosphere for that is crazy. That needs to be seen live. All right, cool. So that's the that's the little boxing roundup. That's the boxing roundup for for this week. And we're going to go into a little entertainment. You know, we always cross over into the entertainment for a little bit. Uh, J.P. Paul's house got raided. I don't, <laughs> honestly, I haven't done any re like research about it. Besides, I know it was just linked to the looting because he was doing the looting, remember? Yeah, oh yeah. He was doing the looting. Yeah. So they said they raided his yard in LA and they raided his yard in Vegas because he's in Vegas. Yeah. And everyone, yeah, he training at the same gym as me. And everyone says I'm training him now. That's their new one. Their new one is, yeah, they're training the same gym. He must be helping him out. Listen, I swear I train in the afternoon. He trains at night. I ain't even seen him in that in the gym. Yeah. I mean, what's, he, what's, what's, he, what's he doing now? Living in Vegas? 
Yeah, he's he has he's having camp out here. He's holding okay. camp out here. So yeah. yeah, he's um I know he's been inspiring a lot of people and apparently mm. he's stopping everyone inspiring and that he's doing he's doing his thing, isn't it? This is the thing. People really mm. believe. I don't know, listen, I don't know what everyone's doing at home, but people really believe like I hate these guys, like I really have like a genuine dislike for Jake and them man. Like I really don't. Like it's just <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Then. I don't know why people really care. Like, legitimately, why do we need to care about these people? I don't. I don't Just care. Just let people like, live their lives, isn't it? He he does, he's doing he his thing. That. He's doing his thing. He's living his life. Like, living I don't, life. Yeah. Like, cool, isn't it? Like, his house got really did. People saying it might affect um his fight that's coming up. It definitely won't. Definitely I'm going to say that right definitely now. Won't. Definitely won't. He's fighting on September 12th. End of... That's it. His house could be Yeah. Don't know. Like I said, no, I rate about him, though. No. Because he, his, his coach lives with him, innit? So, he's been yeah. active. Like, he's been living the boxing that, whether they're watching fights together, um, training together in the morning and p.m., a.m. and p.m., whatnot. So, he's, he, he wants yeah. to fight and he's, enjoy, he's, he's still enjoying his boxing life. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. And, and that's the, that's the, that's when you learn, innit? That's when you're learning yeah, the most. So, learning. he's, mm-hmm. yeah. So, I guess, his house getting raided won't affect the fight on September 12th. No, he's going to no, blast no. out Nate Robinson. He's going to blast man out. He is. Um, I experience, know, I don't isn't it? Yeah, he's still taking the piss out of Gib, though. I know Gib is going to be pissed about that. Because he knocked <laughs> down one of his sparring partners and then he commented, man hit the knees on Gib and all that. Just, just did not let, but you know them, man. Some man can't let win because you know yeah. they're on it. You know what they're on. Come you on, man. Come on. on, you know what they're on. Of they're course, they're going to be riding, man. Like, you can't. People like, people like Floyd, people like Jake, people like Logan, even JJ. You can't even let Yeah, JJ. even JJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they'll be mocking you for life. Them man told channel, for life. just scroll down, they just reacting to that, to that spare six times in a row. <laughs> you can't yeah. let that, you can't let that one run. Um, Next, uh, in the entertainment, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion dropped a video. It got 45 million views or something in a day. 45 Crazy, million boy. views. Crazy. Is... I listened to the, I listened to the song. I didn't really rate the song, but they're looking juicy. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking juicy. <laughs> yes, yeah, and that is probably the majority of the views, bro. That's, That's probably it. That's the majority it is, yeah. of the views. Because you know what, there's probably about, if we're being honest, yeah, there's probably about 10 million, 10 to 15 million that are girls that are vibing to it. And then the other oh, 30 right. mils, man, them at home, like dribbling at the screen. Yeah. Looking at the, Wait, it's on like 52 mil right now. 52, 52 mil. 52 mil. As we speak, it's on 52 mil right now. Yeah. By the time this comes out, Lord knows what it's going to be. On. Kylie Jenner's in there, little cameo. People are saying that. People are petitioning, innit, to get her removed from the I video. Know. People Why? have got time on their hands. Why? A what? petition. You're gonna start a whole petition <laughs> so, to get so you want to take down the video, re-edit the video <laughs> just because your petition. Are you mad? People are mad. Like, I don't even get it. The, the, oh no, oh, I get it. I get it because they're saying she was uh she was who Meg was hanging out with when when she um, had the incident. Oh yeah, okay. When yeah, yeah, yeah. So but at the end of the day. Between the video being recorded and the video being uploaded to the world, if Megan didn't want it up, she would have said, I don't want the video up. Facts. So why are you starting a petition? I don't get yeah. it. The woman who has half the song is hers, yeah. She would have been like, not going to lie, Cardi, whatever. I know it's a sick video, but I don't want her in the video. That's it. It would have got cut. Mm. But in terms, of, in terms of that uh, section of female hip-hop, it's an optimal collaboration. That collaboration is probably the the best that could have happened. You That's know, true. they had this. Very it's true. the same the same topic. The whole sex appeal thing is what they is is their, yeah, like, their number thing. one selling point. Mm-hmm. So big shout out to them for doing their thing. Really? Yeah. That's that's what you're supposed to do. Not like Hedy and Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole different thing. Um, but yeah, shout out to them for doing that. Big views, 52 mil. Hopefully, me and Leon can see a 52 mil one day. One day, know. one day, one day. <laughs> one day. Wow. We'll start from now, so yeah. Trust me, <laughs> step by step, bit by bit. Yeah. And then, oh. the final thing. 
Trump is back at it again. He's Man back like. at it again. And I can't help but laugh because this guy uh, manages a way to just do some funny stuff. He's cool. He's made TikTok a national security issue. Mm. A national security issue. And he signed an executive order or something to make sure within the next 45 days, today is the is the 9th of August. In the next, or the 8th, what's it, the 8th? No. 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 To make, man, he, to, to ban TikTok in the next 45 days in the US. Yeah. India has already banned TikTok as well. India banned TikTok? Yeah, India, India banned TikTok. But I'm hearing yeah. how... I'm hearing that Trump and what you call it, um, what's his name? Zuckerberg are cool. And uh, what you call it, Instagram's doing reels. So then when it's from TikTok, we're just going to move to that Instagram reels. That's probably what's going to happen. Mm. Because um, what did Trump said that TikTok can begin, can stay active in the US if a yeah. US company buys, buys it. it. And I think Microsoft are looking into it. Of course they are. I'd be looking into it. If I had the peas like mm. that. But I then that's forcing them to sell. Them. Yeah, forcing them the Chinese to sell their thing, isn't it? TikTok. I know. That's why I know. Mad. They won't do it though. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Nah, no way. No way. I don't think no they way. Hey, what do you call it? J. Cole as well. J. Cole, isn't it? What's he, what's he, is he trying to join the NBA or something? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. He, saw, he said he spoke to Master P. J. Cole, yeah. He said he spoke to Master P and he wants to try and play in the NBA. Mm. But he can play, you know. Like yeah, he can got, play. I'll be, I'll be, yeah. He's, he can, yeah, yeah. Like he's got ability. Aye. He's got ability Aye, for sure. He's actually good. But he's got, he's got when ability. you're amongst the elite, it's different, isn't it? <laughs> it's different. That's what I mean, though. When when uh, when LeBron's chasing you down to slap the ball out of your hand, <laughs> <and all that. laughs> trust me, it's, <laughs> it's a whole new, it's a whole new thing. It's funny because we was actually talking about. The other day, me, me, Badu, me, everyone we was talking about how uh, professional boxing may be one of the only sports where, based on uh, your following and based on you know the what you can, how many people you can bring to interact with the sport, you can get a professional license and just compete. Yeah. But then, True. we literally again a day later, two days later, is spoken about J Cole being able to play in. The, the biggest basketball league in the world, you know, which is again, obviously, him being J. Cole helps the movement of that potentially happening. Yeah, but I don't know, it'll be interesting. I guess it'll be interesting for a couple, a couple games. Yeah, it'll be then, interesting. But... What do you call it? Then Dave East, Dave East said, Oh, if he's gonna play um, in the NBA, then I'm gonna start playing basketball too. <laughs> That's what happens, isn't it? That's, that's happens, the problem. You happens. open the floodgates, yeah. isn't it? Floodgates, now like everyone the floodgates. that thinks it's a stupid move. Everyone that thinks they they can move or they're a little bit decent are gonna go straight into um. It's true. Try, trying to play in the NBA. I don't know though. Hopefully, I know the Pistons. The Pistons said that they were giving tryouts. Yeah. Yeah, the Pistons said that they... Uh, yeah, it was the Pistons, they, yeah. Yeah, they'll give him a tryout, which is... That would be mad seeing him and Derek Rose and that playing on the same team. <laughs> I don't think it'll work out. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's one of those... It's like when Jordan, back in the day, tried to play baseball. Isn't baseball, it? yeah. That's true. He tried to play baseball for a bit, but then he came back to know what he knows and then, you know, had one of the best seasons. Ever uh, with Chicago Bulls, but I don't know, man. This is it, people just doing their thing at the end of the day. Like, one thing I'm not like gonna put anyone down for trying to do their thing. Like, if he's trying to do his thing and he gets an NBA, then so be it. Shout out to him, true. Shout out to him. And, um, oh, yeah, there was this, you know, James Charles. Oh, the, the um, the, the, yeah. the guy that does all the makeup and that, yeah, yeah, makeup, yeah, yeah. He, Alicia Keys here said that she's starting a beauty line. And yeah. this guy got on her about it. He said, Hey, yeah, he's, he's a. F- <laughs> he's a. F- one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah no that James Charles is a fool, man. 
he's a fool, he's a hater. He, ch he tried to say something, I heard it, yeah, something about, he said, before she was saying she was doing a, a no makeup campaign, yeah, yeah, so nah, because yeah. she said it before, now nah, she can't change her mind and do a, a beauty campaign. But that's the thing, uh, this was the funny thing about it. She's not even doing a makeup line, she's doing a skincare yeah. line. And he's just and he was and he's, he was waffling. You know them people, man. They just they just want to just talk for the sake of talking, man. Oh, no, but you know Let, he's got his fan base is that's not that's not even his fan base is strong. We know strong, his fan strong, base is strong, strong. strong, strong, strong. But then there's certain people in the world like the Beyonces and the Alicia Keys where their fan base is loyal, loyal. Yeah, very true, very true. They'll ride for them. Very true. It's true. No matter what. It's true. It's true. It's true. So he needs See, to be careful. He, this is going to simmer down because at the end of the day, if someone wants to do something, let them do it. This is my point. Yeah. This is a big, point. this is a grown woman, you know, big ass woman, <laughs> married woman. A grown, think, a grown, <laughs> as, my, as my dad Come would on, say, man. a grown, hard backed woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. If she wants to do a little thing, then yeah, so what? Who are you? And he tried, but then he apologized, though. He done the apology tweet. You know that. You know how you get to. You know, you know how these men. You know how these yeah, men, come on. They drop you an know, apology and it's fine. Apology, then a little video, a little tear, a little, a little tear. Oh, tissue. Then me and you, me and you drop the apology. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> if me and you dropped an apology, everyone would be like, and you think that's enough? You think? That's yeah, enough? you think that's enough? <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah. But listen, listen, this is this is the this has been the second episode of the of the hit report. Very interesting topics today, in fact. The world has blessed us with some some stuff to talk about. Um we will be bringing back the podcast full length podcast very soon. Um as I said, we do have some guests that are scheduled in. I'm not gonna disclose them right now, but there's definitely people that you wanna see and hear talk about their experiences and you know we can't wait to bring them on the channel so that is coming soon um i have a fight announcement coming soon as well which we will touch on on the on the next episode we should have been able to share this a while ago but once i do share it definitely going to be something to talk about and yeah man what are you saying Lee? oh yeah the gyms are open again i didn't even say gyms that are open. Just, oh yeah yeah, the yeah gyms are open oh my day hey you know what i come to the realization of yeah Mm. I think I was depressed, you know. I was in depression <laughs> during the lockdown. I swear. When I'm looking back here, yeah, I was actually depressed. I can, imagine, gym, I can imagine. I was I lost. I was it because I tried. See the thing, man. Like I told, uh, I said it before. My mm. house is my relaxation place, isn't it? When I come home, I come to shut off and relax. To chill. So it's, yeah, 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 to yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. So it's hard for me to turn a uh, comfort place into somewhere where I'm gonna. Start training and gas myself hype. up and hype up. Yes, it, mm -hmm. it won't work for me. Until I build the summer house in the garden and turn it into a yeah, gym, yeah. that's when I can enter that, have my blacklist flag on the wall, Spartan flag and all of that. So then that could yeah, be my, yeah, yeah, my yeah. zone, yeah. innit? That's your so, zone. Yeah, but yeah, yeah now I'm happy back in the gym, enjoying, losing this timber. So yeah, <laughs> good, man. I'm happy, I'm happy. That's I'm what happy we want. Again. That's what we want. Everyone's gassed. Everyone's gassed. The bar's open first, the gym's open second, but I don't know. The gyms are now open. Everyone's active again, and everyone better still be keeping their space and wiping down their mats. You know them sweaty people that don't like to wipe down their mats. Yeah, come on, man. But yeah, hope you enjoyed episode two. That's us, man, signing out. Love. Bless.